Hello and welcome to day eight of Real Talk with Miranda. Can I close the door? Sure, you can close the door. I have two guests with me today. Emma is still here. Um, that sounded bad. <laughs> She's still, Emma's still here. here. <laughs> no, when it's a good thing. Leaving? It's a good thing. She's gonna do my makeup. She already did my hair today. Look how beautiful that oh, is. Not good at all. She's super it. self-conscious about it, but it's great. I and I, did I have my lovely brother with us today. His name is Garrick. By the way, before I get started, I think, I don't know if I said day eight. This is day eight. It is November 4th. And, no, yeah, November 4th, 2018. So we're going to do an all about Garrick today, and Emma's going to do my makeup, so that'll be kind of a fun, like, ooh, reveal. Okay. I'm going to turn this around on my lovely brother. We just... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on the Yeah. I'm going to put it here and do this on there. On there. Or we can, like, put it, yeah, we can put it there. Let's do that. Yeah, this works. Here they are, Hi. Emma and Garrick. So Garrick mm. is 17 years old, yes. and he is getting ready to go to college next year. So this is I'm 14. Side. I'm not. No, enjoy high school while you while you can, because yeah. <laughs> then you'll miss it. Okay, we can all answer the questions, yeah, but I like weird being the only one. Oh, do you want me to sit here instead, That's and then fine. Emma come behind me? I'll be the center. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do the commentary. Yeah, it'll be like a podcast with our Still voices. Need to see your face. Oh right, yes. Garrick, what song makes you feel something inside? You see, feel something inside. Uh, yeah. It's so hard to think of just like the biggest ones and not the ones I'm just listening to a lot right now. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, I've been listening to Empty by Kevin Abstract a lot. Okay. That is a great song. Sorry, I'm like, oh my god, I'm in the way. Um, <laughs> it feels so bad. I really like oh, so um, motion picture soundtrack by Radiohead. That's a fun one. Nice. Is, is it the name of the album? Uh, the album is. Or is it actually a motion picture soundtrack? Oh no, that's the that's the name of the song. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, I was like, wait, look up. Yeah. Um, that's off of Kid A. Cool. Which is a great album. I would say if I had to answer that question, it would be Heroes by David Bowie. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I definitely always like get this like weird like nostalgic feeling inside me, even though I wasn't alive in the seventies. <laughs> I just you know get that feeling inside my heart. What would you say, Emma? What's the question? What's like a song that like really makes you like feel something? L A D U T by Panic at the Disco. Oh my gosh, love that. <laughs> Love that song. It has to be Panic at the Disco. Oh yeah, Panic at the Disco is yeah. everything. All right, Garrett, let's see. What's the next one? Um, yeah. When I'm you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? Okay, so when I was four, I said I wanted to be a priest. <laughs> I think that was like a, like a two-day like phase thing, though. Because <laughs> um, I think in the majority of my childhood, I wanted to be a firefighter. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Well, I mean, yeah, I was, like, obsessed with fire trucks. And... That is true. I just, I guess I didn't know. I probably hope yeah. that your dad was a yeah, yeah, firefighter. And, yeah, yeah, like that. Just, so. like, kind of surrounded by it anyway. And so I think, yeah, for the... And then, like, when I got to be, like, eight or nine is when I was like, I'm going to be a scientist. <laughs> so it we changed a couple times. She up. And now you don't even want to be a scientist anymore. No. <laughs> that, that ended in, like, seven. I'm making him even more pale. <laughs> um, and what do you want to do now? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, the, the dream would be to be some kind of writer, magazine writer, should be a video writer. writer. You're so good at that. Yeah. You're so cool. You're so good at that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, making films would be awesome. I was talking to my dad the other day, though, or literally two days ago, um, when we were at dinner, and I was mm-hmm. like, I might go study, instead of, like, doing English Lit, I might do, like, poli sci in high school. Oh, nice. You'd be good at that. Yeah. You could, you know what would be good with all that, actually, is to be a journalist. Yeah, i Because you can, like, be involved mm-hmm. politically and historically, mm-hmm. and you can use your videography skills, photography skills, and mm-hmm. um, do your writing. It'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. I really considered being a journalist for a very long time. I wanted to write for a newspaper, but kind of yeah. newspapers I feel like they're kind of dying. 
Unfortunately. I mean, yeah. you can write online. It's so sad, though, because that's... I don't like, know. I think... I like newspapers. I think yeah. newspapers I think, are cool. I used to write, like, mini newspapers for around the house and, like, give them <laughs> to, like, yeah, everyone in the family. Yeah, still have, like, it was, Yeah, I have a couple of them. They're called the Miranda Times. <laughs> and, yeah. Fun, fun things. What did you want to be when you grew up, Emma? Uh, when I was little, I was, like, obsessed with mummies, but at mm. first I wanted to be a mummy. And my mom was like, wait, we <laughs> can't do that. Mummy. That doesn't work. And then, I, and then I wanted to be what I called a mummy maker. My mom's like, well... I don't know. But now, I mean, like, that's what I want to be. Like, I was obsessed with mummies. Uh-huh. Is this true? Mm-hmm. Like, you still kind of want to be... And now, like, when I, now I want to be a pathologist. So, that's sort of a mummy maker, because they, like, do <laughs> autopsies, like, dead people, which is super weird. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, you want to cut up dead people? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You're still working with bodies and stuff. I know. Um, I, when I was younger, wanted to be a, um... An actress. Oh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> definitely an actress and definitely a teacher. And what's funny is, like, I went through little phases. Like, I wanted to be, like, a librarian here. And then I wanted to be a journalist. But I still always, like, wanted to do acting. Mm-hmm. And I did that in high school. And then I, for when I started college, I still wanted to be a teacher. But now I think I want to do a therapy route and be a marriage and family therapist. I thought I wanted to be a doula. And a doula, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. You, don't know. you can do more than one thing in life. <laughs> uh, I walk around or something. All right, let me look at the next question. Yeah, let's find a good one. There's so many. Did you make these up? Uh, I didn't make, I made up all these questions, yes. Oh, There's cool. like 250 of them. Oh my god. Uh-huh. I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> um, who... Well, we know what Emma would answer for this question. Oh, yeah. Who would you want to see in concert? <laughs> oh, I'm already going to see them. Okay, well, my answer would be Modest Mouse, but I've seen them. How about somebody that you have not seen before that you'd yeah, want to see so in concert? Radiohead, then. Okay, Radiohead. Well, how about you? Panic on the Disco, <laughs> all the way. But I'm going to see them in January. Super excited. I have, like, I have like third row tickets or something, and that's like right in the front. I'm like super excited, but they're also like four dollars. <laughs> oh my god! But I'm I'm paying for them. Okay, so I'm paying. dedicated fan right there. Oh my god! I've I also I started liking them mm-hmm. like three months ago. <laughs> oh, this is a new obsession. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of bands, and like I feel like the first uh, thought Arc- that comes to Arcade mind Fire would be, on there will be my jealousy, yes. So. Arcade Fire would be the first concert I want to go see, but I've already seen them. So, excluding Arcade Fire, I think... Oh. I mean, it's hard. And I don't know how great she would be now, but if I could go back in time, I would love to see Madonna. Yes. Oh my gosh. I would... I think that that would be a, just but then, like, a lot. Or David Bowie. Bowie back then. Right. I like Queen. Oh my I mean, I guess, like, that's... Like, didn't, like, yeah. do better, like, many concerts, though, in, like, the 80s, because he was... Yeah. Pretty, Pretty was, like, sick. sick. Yeah. And they probably only did concerts like the 70s, but... Go back in time to the 70s. 70s. So. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure Madonna still would be fun, but I think she'd play a lot of her newer stuff, and I really want to I don't hear. like her newer stuff. Really I much. always like... It's too, like, too, There's modern. two or three songs that I like, but, you know, that's about Some it. Some of them are just, like, too much. They're too much. It is. But it feels like she's still trying to just be, like, hip, and what I want is, like, her old 80s stuff, which is what yeah. she's so great for. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Wow. Sorry, I'm just oh, going to try to pick the next question real fast. Okay. Um, okay, here's a good one. Out of all the people you know, <laughs> who would survive the Hunger Games? Mm. <laughs> Not me. Not any of us. Yeah. Not any of us. Uh, oh, all of, of the people like, we know? Not, out of anyone you know, yeah. Ooh. Who would survive the Hunger Games? <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> no one. <laughs> um. Know. Yeah, none of us. <laughs> no. I don't actually know. I would say Ethan, honestly. Really? Oh. Yeah. Ethan, Ethan. Um, mainly because car numbers. <laughs> so I don't like. You know, I think me. I would pick. Oh, Nicholas. Nicholas. I would pick Nicholas. Nathaniel. Nicholas would. Or Nicholas. I feel like they're Nicholas, both cause... very 
Nicholas would be like, no, Mom, this is how you, like, make fire. Like, they, like yeah. And, and he'd be like, no, Mom, don't eat that. It's poisonous. And he'd be like... Because I feel like they're both... They, they both dead. be Boy you Scouts, like, and they, like, kind of know those, like, outdoorsy oh, yeah. skills. But they're also, like, adventurous enough, and they like, kind of go out there and, like... I think they're risk takers. I, I'd also see my dad kind of surviving, actually. Oh, yeah. Because he's been in, like, the Army... And for 10 years, and then he's been in the fire service for 20 years. Like, I kind of think he has these survival skills mm-hmm. yeah. kind of kicked in. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So, that's who I would say. I'm ashamed we didn't think of a woman. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It is okay. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I'm going to do this. <laughs> um... Can you do anything weird with your body, Garrick? What? Like, can you, like, do something creepy and like, strange? I can roll my tongue, which you can't do, but that's not very hard. Yeah. I can't do that. Here, run up. No. It's so easy. I, well, it's genetic. Um, <laughs> it is? Uh-huh. I don't think there's anything weird else. Okay, look up to me. I'm double jointed in my elbows. Yeah. So For can, real? Yeah. That's funny. So I can like hyper extend them pretty weird. But that's really weird. Yeah. Um Yeah. I can't do anything weird. I don't think I can either. It's not very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people who can do some creepy things with their like hands yeah. or fingers or whatever. Nicholas can move one of his eyes that way and keep one looking straight. It's super weird. That's weird. disturbing. I know I it's super weird. What? <laughs> Um, scariest movie. Wait, oh my god, wait, I can wiggle my ears. Really? Yeah. Get in the camera and show Oh my god, I can't do it on camera. I can oh. Wait. I can't do it. Okay, it's just, <laughs> I promise you, I can do it. I can. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a video sometime, but I can. Okay. What's the scariest movie you've ever seen, Garrick? <sighs> What's, what's a movie that really scared you? It doesn't even have to necessarily be like a horror movie, but what's a movie that you watched that just really scared you? I guess really it's true, like, you? I, and I have to think back to like when I was like elementary school, because... Mm-hmm. Like Ghostbusters really scared you? I think like the first Indiana Jones oh, that scared the crap Where out like of the me. faces melt. Not even that part. That part was like, I was like fine with. It was really? like the very opening scene. Where it, like, um... I don't remember if you remember where like the uh-huh. dude gets like stabbed with the spear. Stabbed in the spear? Yeah. yeah. I do remember that. that. Nicholas is terrified of all the Pee Wee Herman movies. What? <laughs> I don't know. He's so. He's also Beetlejuice. He's terrified of all those. Beetlejuice was freaky. Good. I mean, yeah, I could see that. I never watched it when I was a kid. I watched it when I was like 12, so I don't know. I mean, I was a kid. I, mean. I haven't seen Beetlejuice in a long time. I saw it recently. It's a fun one. Mm-hmm. Beetlejuice. I had Winona Ryder in it, so. Oh, cool. Winona Ryder. Love her. So oh great. My gosh. <gasps> That's from the Halloween costume. <gasps> Winona Ryder. Wait, I was also going to be Star <laughs> for Lost Boys. I was going to be Star for <gasps> Lost Boys for Halloween, but yes. I could not find Garrick like, her little, like, Garrick hasn't seen Lost Boys. Lost Boys. You've never like seen that. Lost Boys? I'm not. Oh my gosh. How how are you two related? I know, right? Oh, my... Okay, scariest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Sinister. I hate uh, that movie. It's terrible. It's good, but it's, like, terrifying. The movie that scared me the most was... Mother would be up there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Garrick was pretty disturbed. You left during that one, didn't you? <laughs> the last, like, three minutes, yeah. He's like, I can't take it anymore. You I've it. never seen that. We should, we should watch it. No. We, we should watch it. We yes, we should. Garrick's, and Lost Boys. Garrick's <laughs> poor friend left, like, halfway <laughs> through it. She just yeah. was crying. She couldn't handle He's it. She's crying? I That's showed it. it to Nathaniel, and he got really mad at me for showing it to him. He's like, why'd you do that to me? <laughs> yeah, I don't get how you're not, like, a, at least a little bit. Well, those things don't bother me. Like, I don't know. They're just more random. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not real. I'm very desensitized. But, like, I'm still, but, like, terrified, like but, I don't, but I know it's not. It's different, that's well, what's that sure. about? Oh, is that the thing with the, with, with, with the mom with the bandage on her face? And... No. Mother is more, it's mother definitely is psychological. Like, and it's a psychological issue. Is that the one with Jennifer Lawrence or? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Jennifer Javier Bardem. And Javier Bardem. And it's, is that a horror movie? It's. It's not really. It's not, like, um, categorized as horror, but it definitely makes you feel scared. Wait, wait, what's the well, I think it was advertised as like a more straightforward horror movie, horror. and it's really not. It's just like. Have you ever heard of Black Swan? No. Oh, 
Well, well, what's it about? I've never heard of I mean, it's really hard to tell anything. you what it's about. It's, it's about, about this woman and this man, and they live together in this house far away, and she's very dedicated to kind of cleaning up this home and making it, like, their place. The whole thing's and like a big allegory. They want to have a baby, and... I mean, you can't really say and anything the, else without, like... And the guy's trying to... He's like a poet, he's and a he's poet. trying to write his next big work, but he's got writer's block, and he can't. And then there's some guests uh, that show up to the house. Yeah, and, and they're like, he's... No, and like, that's he's scary? <laughs> Eight. Unless we spoil it, unless we spoil yeah. it for you, we can't really yeah. say anything else. So okay. it's hard to like, yeah, say anything about it. I'd say the movie that scared me the most would be Psycho. Psycho is not scary to me. It isn't, but it is. <laughs> like, like just thinking, like, I was like, it was well. I guess unless I count that short film that I watched on YouTube, The Smiling Man. I don't ever want to see that. No, I'm showing it to you. Oh my god, Miranda. I can go to sleep. <laughs> it is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Were you able to life. sleep? Yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, I can probably sleep, but... Yeah, I was fine. It's just, it's scary. It's good. I need to show you that, like, we were rushing claymation. Okay, I will watch that so if you terrifying. watch the spy I don't, it, it, It's not even scary to other people. Yeah, you should I mean. watch it, too. No. <laughs> I feel like you should. That would make me feel better. If we all watch it? Yeah. We'll do it together. No. <laughs> eyeliner? It's only six minutes. Oh, wait, oh, just a second. Are you going to give me, like, a fun How do you... eyeliner look? Oh, oh, that was hard. Is that mine or yours? It's yours. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next question. Let's. Let's. All right. Oh, that's highlighter. How about, what's the worst injury you've ever had? Ooh. I don't think I've had any bad injuries. You're right. I, I, I've never broken anything. I don't think I've ever broken. I, I, the one time I sprained my finger, but that's, like, oh, really yeah. not... Oh, I have one actually. Wait, are you still going? No, go for it. Oh, okay. So one time, so I I used to be really big into like stone carving, like limestone. Mm-hmm. And this is a great start. Get you into <laughs> and I went and I went to like a summer camp for this, and I was wearing shorts mm-hmm. while carving rocks and had like chisels and stuff. And that was not good. Oh God. So I was so I was carving something. And I dropped like a one inch chisel. It's like a pretty. It's like metal. It's like a hardcore metal, and just like dropped and I was like oh no that's gonna hit like my toe I don't want my toe to fall off so immediately instead of like just keeping my toe there and moving out of the way I bent my knee so it wouldn't go on my toe and then I hit just, your knee actually it was this knee and I have still a scar oh. right there but it yeah, dropped and it stuck in my knee and I had to pull it out oh girl but I didn't get stitches like that's I don't know good. why I should have gotten stitches but they just put like tape over it and they're like oh just don't go in the water I'm like uh, oh my god, that's all I said to you? I know, and, and they put tape on it. And that's it ridiculous. It's falling off. I'm like, I need stitches. Yeah. And the doctor's like, no, you don't. Just let it heal on your own. I'm like, I had a chisel sticking out of my knee. Oh my god. And I still have like, a scar. Like, it didn't heal properly. Were you properly. at like, some camp? Yeah. Weird. And I was wearing like steel toe boots, so I don't know why I was just like, was okay. Like, afraid of that Like, it's probably not going to actually puncture like my toe. It might cut through the boot, but I was wearing like socks too. Yeah, you probably. But instead, I was wearing shorts. Oh, first of all, I don't know why I was wearing shorts, but I bent my knee and it just stuck in there. I oh didn't pass God. out though, but I could see like like little white things in there. I don't know yeah, what that was. That happened when I got stitches. I saw those white things. I don't know what that was though. Like, what is that? I don't know either. I my I'm worst. I'm so pale. Oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> my worst would probably be. Yeah, when I cut my knee open. You guys were all there, obviously. Oh yeah, didn't you like have like I get stitched on your chin? No, I got them on my knee. I have this scar. Right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't see it on camera, but yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up right now. You know, I didn't get stitches for anything, but as long as I ate it on my bike over oh, there. Oh, I remember that. Um, it was like for the stupidest reason, too, is that I was like so antisocial that if I even like saw people, I would just like bike as fast away as I could like away from them. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I can't. Stop looking at me. And then I, I like, did that, and I w- wiped out. Oh, my God. <laughs> I remember that. So I, have, I think it's on my elbow. Yeah, my worst one would be, yeah, cutting my knee open. Oh, I have another bad one. I also so, broke my tailbone, so that was rough. While oh, I was yeah. sledding. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that one? Well, both were bad. <laughs> and what was your other one? So, Nicholas used to do crazy stuff with me. He, he used has. to, yeah. <laughs> so, do you remember that weird, like, orange thing that we had that, like, was, like, circle and you had to, like, spin around? No, actually. Okay, well, we had a little orange thing like that. And, wait, no, we didn't use that. Well, we, we did have one of those, but, okay, so, that wasn't part of the story. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, so, he had, he had, like, a skateboard, and he put, 
he tied a string to it, and he put me in a, and he put a milk carton, and he, like, like, nailed it on the skateboard. I was, like, three. He sat me in the cart. He took the string, and he spun me around in a circle around a driveway. Oh, my God. And he put a helmet on me. Thank God. But, I mean, like, me being three, I was like, yes, I got to spin so far. I'm like, yay. And, um, I flew out. The milk carton broke off. Mm-hmm. I flew out, and I skimmed across the driveway. And do you remember her ours was, like, half gravel and, like, half? half yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I went on the gravel part, and I skidded, my, and I, like, oh, scraped no. up my whole chin and, like, part of my neck and stuff. No. And my mom comes around, she's like, Nicholas, what are you doing? And Nicholas goes, I put a helmet on her. <laughs> I'm like, I... It I'm was safe, I screaming. put a helmet on her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But he, yeah, and then he also once tried to put me on his handlebars. In front of his oh. bike, <gasps> and no. we drove down our driveway. No, he, he put a helmet on me then too, and and, and he <laughs> also made sure to put like like elbow pad and like knee pads yeah. and stuff on me. But he still didn't like think to maybe put like you know, like I mean just not put not me on you. the bike, you know. Yeah. So I listened again, and I did that, and I didn't fall, but my mom caught him, and he fell. Oh jeez. She's like Nicholas, what are you doing? And then he like skidded away, and I just was like sort of just like sitting there. And then his bike tipped over, but I got off, so I don't know what happened, but he fell. And he, he wiped out. Oh my Jeez. gosh. All right. Uh, there was a time, too, when we were setting up, it was at the boy's house, when we were setting up the bunk bed. Oh. And it <laughs> oh, Henry's bunk bed? It was for yeah. Nathaniel and Henry. They were, oh, yeah. It was yeah. when they shared a room. Oh, I remember mm-hmm. that. In the end of the hall? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and the bunk bed fell on Garrick's head. Yep. Oh, I, I have another bad injury. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at my <laughs> grandma's house. Uh, my, I, my cousin, I have, like, eight five-year-old cousins. It's so bad. Oh, my God, they're so annoying. It's okay, I like them. But, uh, I was, like, sitting up there, and my grandma in our basement, she has, like, a really old, like, chunky, like, TV. Yeah. And these, my cousins were, like, try, like pulling on the cord, like, trying to, whoo, trying to, like, pull it down. And I'm like, don't do that. Mm-hmm. And it fell on my finger, and my finger turned purple, and it was, like, bruised, and I don't know how it didn't break it. It was, like, a, like, a heavy Ooh, TV. jeez. But my cousins didn't get in trouble. I did. I'm no. like, my finger's broken. <laughs> what are you Jeez. doing? All right, I think we have time for one last question. Let's do it. So, who inspires you, or what inspires you? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Lots of things. Name some of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a person. Who? Two people. Who are they? Reese Witherspoon and Brendan Urie. Yes. Name I like Reese Witherspoon, Reese Witherspoon though. Nice. No, she's so nice. She's awesome. How about you, Miranda? I think I'm inspired when I see people doing just random acts of kindness. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe just little things where, like, I remember once walking around on campus and there was this kid and he was like, curled up on the floor, like, uh, like outside, like, on the grass, and he was just crying, crying, and I was kind of farther away, and I started to walk towards him, like, maybe I should go talk to him, and this other woman just stopped by, and I was like, are you okay, and they just sat down, and they started to talk for a long time, and, like, exchange phone numbers, I don't know, it was just really sweet to see, like, something like that. So Your just, eyeliner's like, a mess, but we will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> just like really random acts yeah. of kindness. I think that's what inspires me the yeah. most. It makes me want yeah. to be a better person. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. But also Reese Witherspoon. And also... <laughs> I love Reese Witherspoon. Oh I mean, there are people that I'm inspired by too, for sure. Like, Brendan and Yuri. Like, there's always like those cool stories. Like, oh, like, like J.K. Rowling, like, right, like, wrote this story when she was yeah. just at her lowest point. Okay. You know, just like things like that. But anyway, uh, apparently my eyeliner is a mess. I don't know what it looks like. But don't um, blink. Don't blink. Okay. Um, I'm gonna yeah. say goodbye. Say bye, Emma. Bye. And bye, bye to Garrick. I'm sure you'll see them again in a future vlog. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.